on Wednesday the 18th of October for morning prayer. I hope this finds you well. Um, somewhat wet and um, overcast here in Staple Grove. Um, but never mind, onwards and upwards as they say. So um, we are praying today for the chaplains across the diocese um, as they meet um, for their annual um, meeting. Uh, many many different chaplains of all different kinds um not le not just here in uh, not least just here in taunton actually um as well as um, further afield too so we'll be pleased to pray for them um as well as clearly lots of things across the world and um, no doubt in our own lives too so let's turn to our order of um, service um and today we're remembering luke the evangelist who of course wrote Luke's Gospel and the book of Acts um, and uh, we can follow the order of service as usual. O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Some words from Psalm 8. O Lord our governor how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Staying in the Old Testament, we turn to Isaiah chapter 55. Ho, everyone who thirsts come to the waters. And you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. You shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Turning to 
the New Testament. Not surprisingly today, as we remember Luke the Evangelist, we have um, a chunk, in fact, the first four verses of Luke's Gospel. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have just been instructed. traditionally the kind of introduction to Luke's gospel, much debate over um, who he's writing to as he writes the most excellent Theophilus. The name Theophilus itself means God lover. So whether he was writing to an individual called Theophilus um, or it's a kind of a letter to all people who love God, um, then we don't know. There's much debate, but... Um, Either way, uh, that's the introduction to Luke's gospel. Lord, you will be with me. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. So, Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for Luke, for his gospel, his willingness to write and set down the accounts of Jesus's life, his ministry, his death, his resurrection. We thank you for the book of Acts, also written by Luke, which tells the story of the early church. Lord, we thank you for the instruction, the encouragement and inspiration that his writing has been to so many people down the years and continues to be so. We pray for our own hearts to continue to be guided by your scriptures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the church today, giving you thanks for the activities that took place yesterday, for the meeting that we enjoyed with Bishop Ruth, considering our own deanery in Taunton, our diocese, many joys, opportunities, challenges. Lord, we do pray for Bishop Ruth as she continues to approach a new venture in Coventry. So we ask that you would protect over her and equip her with all she needs. And we thank you too for the meeting of the uh, curates in training, thinking of deliverance ministry. And we give you thanks too for the meeting of the Magnificat churches parishes yesterday with Bishop Michael. And Lord, particularly today, we're asked to pray for chaplains as they meet, no doubt facilitated by Mike Haslam. And Lord, we give you thanks for the, well, the many, many different forms of chaplaincy that there are across the diocese and even within our own town here in Taunton, in our hospitals, hospices, town centre, street pastors, in our courts. Lord, we thank you for the willingness of Christians to stand up and to witness to you and to offer support and encouragement to so many people. So we ask that your blessing be upon their meeting today and that they would know your presence Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our own witness here too. We give you thanks for the many Christians among us in our churches here in Staple Grove and Norton who live their lives to follow you. 
And Lord, we pray for each and every one of us that we may be inspired by your Holy Spirit to live out your call on us. So we do pray for those who are trying to discern a call at the moment, those who are training within their calling. So we give you thanks for Esther. She continues her lay reader training and prepares to lead worship for the first time this weekend. We give you thanks too for Catherine. She continues to minister among us that she would be blessed in her role and we pray for all of us Lord that you would continue to guide us with the shining light of your presence Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord as we cast our minds to the world so our attention inevitably falls to the Middle East to Israel Palestine, Gaza, the surrounding area. Lord, yet again yesterday, we were appalled to see still more destruction and uh, violence and killing. So Lord, we pray once again for peace. We pray for the global community somehow to support and comfort the bereaved but also lead that situation into peace so lord we do ask through your holy spirit through your power that that would indeed be the case and we don't forget those other areas of the world where there is violence and warfare following the attacks in Brussels at the, uh, on uh, Monday night, obviously the continuing war in Ukraine, Russia, and many other places, Lord. So we just echo that prayer for peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray at the same time for those individuals we know who are suffering through illness, through sadness, through anxiety or depression. We pray especially today for, for Pat, for Martin and Alison, for Derek and Margaret, for Ivy and Gerald, for Barbara. And Lord, at the same time, we pray for those who are grieving. Friends and families of Bob Wolfenden, of uh, Dot Hughes, of Mafanwi Venning, and of Clay Paulson. And Lord, we pray that you would pour out upon all of these people the healing oil of your mercy. So Lord, today we, we look ahead to the tasks and activities of the day. Lord, I thank you for the Staple Grove Trust, the annual meeting this evening, and for the donations that they receive, uh, the charity which seeks to support those in Staple Grove who are who find themselves in poverty with particular need. We thank you, Lord, not just for the, the generous donations received, but also for the ways in which many people have benefited from that in the last year and more. So Lord, we do pray for Christine as she chairs us in that and for the ongoing work undertaken. Open our eyes and ears to see and meet the need that we have around us. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. 
so almighty God, you called Luke the physician whose praise is in the gospel to be an evangelist and physician of the soul by the grace of the spirit and through the whole and wholesome medicine of the gospel. Give your church the same love and power to heal through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. So the Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to see you, and I hope that you have a good day.